Hey, good evening, everyone. So I wanted to get on here real quick and talk about my first experience um, getting eyelash extensions. So, like I didn't plan on going where I did go to, to start with. <laughs> and um, it, it was a lot cheaper than the other place that I was thinking about going, but I think I could kind of see the difference even in that. Because like I said, this is not... This is, excuse me, my first time having lashes. So, um, yeah, it was going great at first. Um, and I started tearing up a little bit, you know, because a little glue or whatever. But the lady immediately put a little fan on, you know, my little eyes. So, um, I was able to make it through the process. But, y'all, when I asked her, after I told her that this is my first time, ever getting lashes i asked her i said um so you know how long can i expect them to last when do i need to get a touch up what should i do at home to maintain them she was looking at me like uh oh, like she didn't understand what the heck i was saying i don't have anything against people that decide to come to america and open a business and they don't really you know speak english like that but y'all that made me just really sit back and think me being an entrepreneur myself you know i like man these people come over here and make a lot of money and all they have is the skill but we get the education like we have the communication skills we have the professionalism so we should be running circles around these people when it comes to you know, like our businesses and stuff. That These are just my thoughts. I don't mean to sound inappropriate or racist or, you know, anything like that. I'm rooting for everybody out here, okay? Everybody is working hard. But I was baffled that she couldn't answer any of my questions. She didn't know what the heck I was talking about. So I won't be back <laughs> because she couldn't even tell me how to maintain what she just did. I mean, that's how you, that's how I keep my clients. Education. It's it's kind of key, you know, and communication. Come on, communicate. So, I mean, while she did an okay job, I probably would have gone back if she could at least answer some questions. But she couldn't answer no questions. She couldn't tell me what to do, you know, to preserve my look. So, I, we ain't got nothing else to talk about, I guess. Now, they do a pretty good job with brows because they do, like, threading and stuff, too. And if you're in the Murfreesboro area, you can go see them there. Um brand new i think it's called a uh, brow and spa or something like that right by ulta but um yeah they do a great job with three and i don't know like i said that i would go back for lashes just because number one they don't look as natural as i thought they would and i guess i could expect that for their pricing but she she just couldn't explain anything and like i said this is my first time going so i won't be back and that was my first experience um getting lash extensions so i hope that the next time is better thank you have a good day oh and if y'all know anybody you can recommend to me um please do so comment below don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um for the next update so that other people can know what to expect when they get their lashes done bye bye